to my garden today I'm gonna to show you how do I take care of my padded moringa and um, I put them besides the house because it's so windy here and I don't want it to um, the branch will be plaffing so I will show you how do I take care and um, how do I plant the moringa this is my moringa uh, that I planted in the pots and the containers I have this container from my, uh, from my uh, pot letters so I save them um, I think it's doable um, it's been producing a lot of branches for me lately. Um, thanks to my friend for giving the seeds and gives me an opportunity to plant a couple of moringas. And I still have, I have three small ones coming right here. So I'm so excited to get that transplanted. And sure. It's very tall and there's no branches from the bottom all the way after here. So uh, two months ago, I decided to uh, start trimming the stem from above, probably like half an inch or and a half an inch maybe like that but anyways when I trim the uh, branches I'll show you where I trim it so this one right here where the brown that one the brown did uh, stem that's the first one I cut the the branch and now a new branch is growing and then not just that there's another uh, hold on. there's another branch that's growing right here okay so but the the trunk the body of the tree, whatever you call it, is not very strong. It's very skinny. It's like a stick, actually. It's like similar to sticks. So I had to put the sticks because it's so windy here where I live. So I have to put these sticks to, sticks to hold it. That way it doesn't flap so much when the wind uh, starts blowing. So another one I want to show you is this, this one and this tree and that tree is two months old. So what I want to show you is uh, to see how um, I did not let it grow too long. So from the uh, the bottom until here, there's a stem here growing. No, a branch here growing and a branch here growing and a new stem growing here. Why it happened is because I trim it over here. You see? So I cut the branch right here. You can see that? And then the new branch growing. So when I cut that, the new branch is growing right here too. Okay? So for this one particular tree, I probably need to cut this one again. So that way to make the trunk a little stronger this trunk right here okay so another one example is right here you see you see how this uh, branch right here there's branch right here and there's a branch in the back and this one here and then there's another one right here okay so first of all this is the first branch that I cut that I trip so like I said this is a little over like a month ago uh, that I cut it and then there's a new branch that's growing you see this new branch and then there's a new branch right here so what happened is when the new branch is growing it helps the trunk a little stronger and then I cut the stem I cut the branch right here and then new growth right here and then I cut the branch right here this one and then the new uh, branch growing okay so as you can see they're very healthy see they are only in the pot but they're very healthy see the leaves are very healthy so this particular one also, probably it's time for me to cut uh, the, this stem right here. So another one, before we cut the stem, another one I want to show you is, ooh, there is a lizard. Oh, is that a lizard? Another one I want to show you is this uh, moringa right here is from a cuttings because it has a bigger, rounder uh, trunk already. So I... I just stick this here knowing I don't even know if it'll grow but this my uh, lemon here there's already lemon growing so I just stick it next to it but it grows so um, but the trunk you can see it's a little bigger than the one I have back there but this one I did the same thing you see I cut the stem right here and then the new branch growing and I cut the stem right here and the new branch are growing so that's what I want to show you how do I take care of my moringa while it's in the plant in the pot and another thing I want to show you, I want to show you uh, the mulch that I'm going to be putting in on this um, pot right here and how much I put. Okay, I have the mulch right here. I'm going to move it here closer to our pot. So my soil is, some of my soil is store-bought, but some of my soil is from compost. Uh, what I do is I loosen them up first before I put my mulch. So this plant is very rich because I use the compost soil on their leaves and I will show it to you. I usually water it next to the trunk, okay? 
this one, like I said, I did not expect this uh, branch that here that will grow. I just stick on it, and see if it will grow, but but it did. Um, my uh, neighbor gave it to me, give me the branch, and then I was like, eh, let me see if this will grow, but it did grow. Okay, that looks enough. Uh, putting my hose towards the leaves like that? No. That's how I water my moringa. And I really believe that the mulch help holds the moisture down because I didn't see a lot of dry leaves on this uh, padded moringa that I have. So I think it's working by putting the mulch in. So that's how I water. So what I have here is a moringa. Hold on. <laughs> okay, I have the seed pod. So this is the moringa seed pod. Okay, and this is the seed right here. So I want to show you how to open the seed pod and get the moringa seeds. Okay, so we start. All right, and then we'll just put them off. We have a container. We'll put them in the container that way it doesn't blow off. Okay, so we'll just take some of them here. So to plant a moringa, uh, there's, I think there's three ways you can plant this. Um, I used to start it with the uh, wet paper towels, but I don't have a lack of those, um, and it took forever. Like, let's see, that would like take a month, to, a month and a half to grow. But this this technique that I'm going to show you, it's quicker and it's easier. So we'll get the soil. So what I have here in the bucket is a soil. This is just a regular soil. Some So here's your soil, okay, and then, so it's, okay, so there's two ways. One is you can peel the moringa, make sure you don't bruise the moringa, so you can peel it, peel it, okay, so here, this is the, okay, that's the peel, you peel the moringa here. And then you water it. So you have you you have to water it every day to keep your pot moist. Next is, or you can just plant straight um, forward like this. Okay, you don't have to peel it. Just stick it to your soil. Then um, after one to two weeks, moringa you have plant the moringa is a superfood plant. It has a lot of vitamins and minerals to it, and it's very nutritious. A good so it's a good source of iron, calcium, and fiber. So, according to um, internet, moringa is one of the most nutrient dense plants on the planet. Some people call it a miracle tree or a tree of life. I've been wanting to grow moringa for a long time, but now, thanks to my friend that she gave me some seeds, and it gives me an opportunity to grow moringa here. Um, but yeah, I'm glad that I can show you um, how to grow moringa on your container. Hope and you enjoyed my video, and um, don't forget to subscribe on my channel and hit the like button down below, and I will see you next time. Thank you.